Hey Conquerors, it's Atisha's superpower, beauty on the outside and a beast on the inside and so are you. How are you doing? I really hope that you're great and having a wonderful and blessed day. So today, today I want to share 15 success habits to master in 2020. So these are things that I currently do um, in my life and my daily routine. And um, I may not be the most successful person in the world, but I really do believe that they will get me to where I want to be. All right, um, but before I continue, if you're on you, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you never miss another video from me. All right, um, yeah. See beauty and blessings in every single moment and in every single thing from waking up, all right, to having a roof over your head, to having strength to be able to do what you do. You know, there's no room to be ungrateful because there are people who don't have what you have. All right. Um, being grateful just also affects your heart and your happiness and your positive um, outlook on things. OK, so what you can do every morning before you start your day, you can list three things um, that you're grateful for. Three things that will make your day great and one affirmation. OK, that you'll speak over your life. Um, during that day. I have spoken about affirmations before if you haven't seen that video make sure that you do check it out Okay, um, to get ideas of what affirmations you can use on a day-to-day -day basis You know because when you're speaking those positive things over your life you begin to believe it and you begin to live it Okay, and then right before you go to bed Okay, write three amazing things that happened during that day Okay, because you're programming your mind and your brain to think or behave in a certain manner it helps rewire your brain and um, improve your levels of happiness okay moving towards the person that you want to become get to the core of your why know your why commit to your why eat sleep breathe I don't know know your why commit to your why because there'll be days where you don't feel like it where you just like I don't want to continue with this why should I? Once you remember your why should you, you will be able to get back and continue. Work harder, fight more. Okay, so commit to your why more than anything else. All right. Um, commitment is so important. Okay, when you teach yourself to commit to your why, you'll be able to commit to so many other things in your life. So this one means exactly what it says move your body whether you enjoy exercising at the gym jogging walking around the block do whatever you have to do just move your body okay i realized that um doing a little bit more exercise makes me extra um or helps me get extra energy and have a more positive outlook Entrepreneurs tend to be such workaholics, but it's so important to understand that you need to take time away from the grind. All right. You need to understand that um, if you're not doing well, your business will not do well. You need to be 100% okay so that you can function and put in your 100% effort into your business for your business to succeed. Okay. So even if it's taking one to two hours um, to just relax. At the end of each day okay um, if you don't want to do it at the end of each day then on weekends take some time out you don't want to get to a point where you actually burn out and you cannot function anymore or you spend so much time away from work that things start falling apart okay relax when you need to relax so that you can grind when you need to grind okay um, also just helps your mental state as well so yeah Think like the people that you are going to be selling to. I really feel like it's important to think like your customers, okay? Because you're putting yourself in their shoes. You're thinking how they would think, how they would view things, all right? This will help you um, place your products or your services more suited to them and their needs and their desires, all right? And it's also really important to have a team or a group of advisors, you know, so that you're not just thinking, the people who are coming in with different perspectives all right um and that's also why it's important when you are doing market research to ask your potential clients you know questions to get into their heads and see what they think or what they would like 
on a day-to-day -day basis, really, really important for you to be productive, okay? So pick three top things that you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? Make sure you complete your to-do list, all right? Finish it. If it is done before the end of the day, then obviously you will take your next three things that you should do and start on those, all right? But never leave anything that was supposed to be done today for tomorrow, okay? Teach yourself to complete the tasks that you've set out to do today. These will help you be more progressive and help you work hard to reach your success. If you do these things, it will be hard for success to escape you because you are being organized, you're getting things done, and you're working hard. What does success want? What does success want? Staying organized. Okay, staying organized means making a list of things that you need to do, setting your daily goals, weekly goals um, of things that you want to do. All right. This will help you keep track of what you need to do um, and what goals you need to achieve. Okay, then obviously you'll dissect those goals on what needs to be done in order to achieve those goals. Okay, um, that will just make you more progressive. All right, work harder to achieve those goals. It's done. You need to listen to your peers, listen to your employees, listen to your customers, okay? Because you will always have something to learn from other people, okay? Also, listen. Don't listen to just hear. Listen to understand and learn, okay? Um, listening also helps um, facilitate relationships because then you start coming across as a person who actually cares. Hopefully, you really do care, okay? You come across as a person who cares um, for other people, and it just makes things more progressive. You are listening to your customers' needs, etc. Leave your ego behind. You are not a Mr. or Ms. Know it all. There's always something that you will learn. Okay, from other people. Ego out. I listen to Dr. Eric Thomas from time to time, and he says, You don't have to be the smartest. Okay, you just have to work the hardest, wake up before they do, and beat them to it. Okay, so if you work harder than your competition, you work harder than everyone else, success cannot hide from you. You will find it and you will enjoy it. Okay, work harder than everyone else, wake up earlier than everyone else, and beat them to it. Don't spend time around people who want to tear you away from your work and want to destroy your dreams. You need to surround yourself with like-minded people. Surround yourself with successful people. You know, people that are going to help you grow. Not people who are going to um, make you deteriorate. Okay, and move in the opposite direction of where you're supposed to be going. Okay? You don't need mediocre when all you want is to be great. You need greatness. Surround yourself with greatness. Get into the habit of sacrificing things that you like or enjoy in your life for things that will help you get to where you want to get to. Um, obviously, achieving success. Okay, It could be your spending habits. Um, because the things that you do in your personal life, guys, can easily be things that you'll do in your business life. And um, they can actually damage your business or ruin your business. You know, because if you are an excessive spender in your personal life and then you want to be an excessive spender in your business, but your business is not even doing that well, um, or you spend on things that you don't need for your business, which means then you're going to start operating at a loss. You know, you're going to be spending on things that you don't need. You're going to be spending more than you're bringing in. So be careful of things like that. Okay. And then also, um, maybe you like sleeping. <laughs> like I do, <laughs> you know, um, but if you're sleeping, when are you going to work? And also it could be watching your favorite series, you know, that time you're spending watching series, binge watching series, you're watching episode after episode after, after episode, where you could be using that time to do research or working on your business, then, you know, so you really need to sacrifice certain things in order to achieve the success that you want to achieve. Hustle, focus, sacrifice, succeed. Be someone who does not wait until they are told to do things. Take initiative. Be proactive. 
okay because once you do that in your personal life then you will also be able to put that into your business because then you're not going to wait to be handed things you are going to go out there and go get things you're going to go out there and go get clients you know you're going to do it for yourself you're going to take initiative for your business but if you are someone who waits to be told you wait to be given things then what are you doing where are you going who's going to give you things nobody owes you anything Stay educated, learn about your industry, learn about your competitors, learn about entrepreneurship and business, read a book, take an online course, um, do research, Google. Google is your friend, okay? Learn, learn, learn. Be wise with your free time, benefit from your free time. Use that time for your loved ones. Use that time to improve yourself or even pamper yourself, you know. Just make sure that you get the best out of it. So we've reached the end of our video. If you are interested in learning more about um, financial literacy, entrepreneurship and personal development, then make sure you subscribe. And also don't forget to comment, like and share. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.